Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of the Idaho Real Estate Appraisal Board, the Bureau of Occupational Licenses has completed its investigation of the complaint against you. Our investigation and the board's review concluded that ellipsis. Welcome, everybody. My name is Dustin Harris. I'm the host of the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Uh, welcome to a mini so. Welcome to my soapbox. Uh, I just want to complain <laughs> a little bit today and uh, just give a shout out to all my appraiser friends across the country and find out how you feel about uh, this topic. I want to remind you that we are sponsored by ANOW Software. ANOW is the way that you can manage your appraisal business. Uh, ANOW is the way that you can keep track of everything that happens in your appraisal office. And you need to check them out at anow.com slash coach. That's A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. Well, folks, I started by uh, reading uh, to you a part of a letter that I received just a couple of days ago from the state of Idaho. Yes, that's right. I had an investigation opened up against me, and that's really what I want to talk about. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail today about uh, the specifics of the investigation. I will give you the gist of it. Uh, So if you uh, are waiting for those tantalizing um, (laughs) uh, uh, morsels and details, I will give those to you in just a moment. But I, I mainly want to complain today about the source of complaints. I'm not so much concerned about people making complaints as I am concerned about states taking some of these complaints seriously. Um, Let me give you the rundown as to what happened. By the way, this was a one year, almost to the date, well, I shouldn't say that, it's about nine months investigation from from top to to finish, from start to, to end. Frustrating, folks. Uh, sleepless nights, stress, um, you know, wondering what uh, what would be the outcome. But basically it was this. I appraised a multifamily um, property in a town very near my office, and um, I received a call from the borrower, very upset at the value. Uh, of course, you know, due to the circumstances of the phone call and regarding the fact that it was uh, with regard to value, uh, we very kindly and politely uh, declined uh, talking to her. And of course, that made her even more upset. I was obviously worried about that because, you know, when you have an upset borrower and where they're that upset, if they know anything about anything, they know that uh, they can probably, uh, you know, find a way to make your life a living hell. And this is exactly what she did. Uh, she uh, complained to the state of Idaho that, uh, you know, I, I will boil down the complaint into, into basically one sentence. Um, because that's really all it was. The complaint was this. Uh, the value was too low. Period. End of story. That was her complaint. Uh, there was really no detailed explanation as to what um, she was concerned about other than she didn't like my comps. Uh, she didn't like where they were located. Um, she didn't like the fact that uh, her, her value was much, much lower than she thought it would be, blah, 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 blah. Well, the bottom line was there was no use PAP violation uh, alleged. There was no state law uh, situation alleged. Um, and as far as I am concerned, and that's really where my Minnesota is going today, as far as I'm concerned, the state of Idaho should have dropped that complaint in the very beginning. There really was no substance to the complaint itself. Uh, instead, they decided to take it on. They asked me for my response. Uh, I basically was not concerned at all because it really wasn't much of a complaint. It was very easy to, you know, deliver my work file and explain uh, to the investigator that I, uh, you know, I did my due diligence. Uh, Here's the support for my adjustments. Here's the support for, you know, why I pulled the comparables that I did. Here's why the complaint basically has no merit. And I'll be honest with you folks, I thought it would go away. It did not. I want to talk to you more about what happened as we come back from the break, but first want to stop and uh, remind you that we are sponsored by ANOW Software. Folks, I'll tell you a true story. Uh, I was approached by ANOW to be a sponsor, and I told them right out front, I do not endorse any products that I do not use personally, and I don't use any products that I don't uh, rave about. And so I would have to be a user, and I would have to be super thrilled uh, before I, I endorsed it. And they said, well, you know, why don't you try it out? And I thought, you know... I get approached by a lot of people to try out a lot of things. Um, and they said, you know what? Tell you what, just go to our demo. Just walk through our demo. And if you're not super impressed, then then you know what? We'll, we'll walk our way, you walk yours, and we'll be done. Uh, folks, I'll make a long story short. I attended their demo. I was sold. 
And they have not disappointed ever since I became a customer of theirs. Folks, you will not be disappointed either. Go to their website, anow.com slash coach. That's A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. And uh, walk through their demo. You will be super impressed. Folks, you cannot understand the power of this program until you watch what the demo can do. Please check them out. It's A-N-O-W dot com. A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. And we are uh, also... uh, have a new sponsor here today. Uh, super excited to have um, on board today, Complaint Away. Complaint Away is the ability to be able to not fear the state board anymore. Uh, you know, we live in fear of these uh, envelopes showing up in our mailbox, and Complaint Away will take care of that. Folks, here's a company that's really set up for appraisers. They understand appraisers, they understand the fear that you live in on a regular basis. And I don't care if you're a great appraiser or not. We all live in this fear that the state has complete control over our lives and we don't want one of those complaint letters. Well, here's what Complaint Away does uh, it is a second mailbox, basically. Uh, you put it next to your mailbox um, that you get your regular mail in, and there's just a, it's a small mailbox and it has a uh, it has a, uh, an instruction tag on it to the mailman that basically says, you know, if uh, a letter is received from uh, the Idaho State Board or, you know, plug in the name of your state board there, uh, please put in this mailbox. Inside that mailbox is a built-in shredder. It is awesome. You don't even have to hit a button. It's just automatic. That letter goes in that box and uh you know motor turns on it 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 crunches you will never see the complaint consequently you will never have to deal with it that's what complaint away will do you'll never have to worry about the state board coming after you again uh anytime you receive a letter from the state it goes in that particular mailbox it will shred that thing you will never have to see it never have to worry about it never live in fear again folks tired of living in fear get complaint away and go have a beer all right, folks, we are, we are back. We are back. We are back. We're talking a little bit about state complaints today. And, and you know, hopefully you've never had to go through this process. I have on a couple of different occasions. Uh, you know, you're just going about your day and uh, you go get your mail. And uh, sure enough, there is a letter in there from the state board. And the first thought you have is, okay, wait, is it time for me to renew my license? And you start doing the math and you realize that, wait a minute, I did that last month. Uh Uh-oh, this can't be good. (laughs) You know, usually the state doesn't reach out to me. I don't know about you, but my state does not usually reach out to me and say, Hey, Dustin, great job, buddy. Uh, We got your back. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to send you a letter and say thank you for all that you do for appraisers. That usually does not happen uh, to me. I don't think it probably happens to you either. So when I get this letter from the state uh, back in February, uh, you know, my heart leaps. I, I don't like uh, living in fear, but yet we uh, as appraisers do. And maybe that's another mini sode for another day about how the complaint process uh, should work. Um, and I and I, I just want to take a branch of that today. We are talking about how the complaint uh, process should work. But one of the complaints that I have today is the fact that anybody from any aspect, client or not, can and does complain about appraisers. I guess I have an issue with that, folks. You've got a borrower who is upset at the value, and really that's what this boiled down to. Uh, it was a, a borrower that, um, uh, that complained about uh, the fact that I had appraised her property too low. Okay? I understand that, that situation. I, you know, I've been borrow, a borrower before, and I do want there to be some kind of recourse. But my question is, should a borrower be able to go directly to the state? And more importantly, should a state board take seriously a complaint from someone who is not a user of that report, a, uh, um, an identified client of that report. And I guess I would suggest that, that maybe not. Um, you know, if there's specific use PAP violations that the state needs to be worried about, okay, I get that. But a simple complaint that basically, uh, sure, it was a full letter size complaint, but it boiled down to the fact that they did not like the value. And we have all had this issue. We have all had problems with borrowers who don't like their value. My home is my castle. They think that their home is worth a bazillion dollars when it's not. And uh, I guess my concern, and I think the state of Idaho has actually been pretty good at this lately. My uh, information, limited as it is, is that the state is kind of sloughing off most of these. 
Why they decided to pick mine up, I have no idea. They escalated it to a standard review. Um, I, at that point, uh, uh, got other people involved um, because it was serious enough that uh, at that point uh, that I wanted to make sure that my T's were crossed and my I's were dotted. Uh, but, you know, you get all of that process. And I'm talking, folks, I'm talking probably dozens of hours. I wouldn't say 100 hours, but I would say anywhere between 50 and 75 hours, man hours, uh, spent on dealing with this complaint. That's a lot of time for a $350, well, I guess it was a multifamily, so it was probably a, you know, a six, $700 appraisal. But that's a lot of time for a six or $700 appraisal. You know, think about your, your pay per hour. I spent a lot of time on this deal, and I spent a lot of time because I didn't want to take any chances. Even after the standards review had taken place, I still wasn't super worried about it because the standards review didn't really reveal anything that I was too concerned about either. Sure, you know, maybe a T wasn't crossed here and I wasn't dotted there. I wasn't hugely concerned, but I also know that state boards are what they are. And, uh, you know, sometimes they do things that are completely... Um, you know, baffling uh, to to us uh, uh, laymen out here. You know, trying to trying to to forge a living in in uh, uh, in this world of appraisal. So, folks, I just want to reach out today on this minisode and just say, you know, what are your thoughts? Uh, who should be able to to wage a complaint against appraiser? Uh, should it be the borrower? I'm not necessarily saying it shouldn't, but I guess I am saying that if a borrower complains, it seems to me. Like they need to have a little more substance than, hey, I didn't like my value. There needs to be some specific use PAP violation. I know borrowers don't know use PAP, but then again, that's, I guess, my complaint. You don't know use PAP. You don't understand the process. You don't understand appraisal procedure. Um, you know, I, I guess I have an issue with, with state boards taking seriously a complaint from a, a borrower uh, that doesn't necessarily understand, you know, what they're even complaining about. What are your thoughts, folks? I would love to hear from you. Please reach out to me after you listen to this episode. Go to my website, theappraisercoach.com, and click on the podcast link, and then just scroll down a little bit. There's a little button there that says uh, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you on this particular episode as to what your thoughts are. Am I off base? You know, maybe I'm just jilted because of this, you know, process I've had to go through, um, you know, uh, receiving a complaint from a borrower. Maybe I shouldn't be so upset about it. Maybe I, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Reach out to me. Let me know know what your thoughts are. I'm going to finish this letter. Um, start from the top. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of the Idaho Real Estate Appraisal Board, the Bureau of Occupational Licenses has, has completed its investigation of the complaint against you. Our investigation and the board's review concluded that the evidence did not reveal a violation of the board's laws and rules concerning the governing practice of real estate appraising. The board has therefore closed the file in this matter. Thank you for your cooperation and patience during this complaint process. Signed, sincerely, uh, the complaint coordinator. Well, complaint coordinator, you are welcome. Uh, you know, it was a pleasure uh, working with you, not. Um, I, you know, I have to tell you, this letter came right before Christmas. Merry Christmas to me, because I'll tell you, it relieved a ton of stress. And any of you who have gone through this process know what it's like to live under that constant stress of what will the board, if anything, do to me. Uh, I felt good about my appraisal. I felt like it was supported. I felt like we had uh, we had really done a good job on the appraisal. I wasn't super worried about it. Then again, you never know what a state board might decide, and it's a tough, tough thing to go through. My hat's off to any of you who have gone or will go through this process of receiving a complaint from the state. But I really today just want to reach out to each of you and ask you what your opinion is. Uh, what should be the process on a state level as far as complaints go? Uh, should those be limited to clients? Should those be limited to users, intended users of the report? Should those be limited to those people who understand a little bit about the appraisal process? Would love to hear your comments. Thanks for joining us, folks. And uh, remind you that uh, the all-star team is 9.95 per month we would love to have you on there receive all kinds of information about how to run a more effective business go to theappraisercoach.com click on memberships and the all-star team to learn more we'll catch you next time